The Innerflex variable colonoscope gives the endoscopist control over scope stiffness. It has a variable stiffness insertion tube. Twisting the stiffness control varies the insertion tube flexibility from stiff to floppy. Inside the scope there's a stiffener coil and pull wire. Turning the stiffness control tightens the pull wire, compressing the coil and stiffening the insertion tube. The last 30 centimeters to the tip stays unchanged and floppy at all times. This is a new and innovative flexible colonoscope. It's called the Inaflex scope. The good thing about this scope is a PCF can be very floppy when one tries to do total colonoscopy with it. But this instrument has a very special gauge here that will allow us to increase the stiffness incrementally of the instrument. It makes this instrument a pleasure to use in even the most difficult colon. This scope guide 3D imager view shows how, even after straightening, a colonoscope tends to re-loop in the sigmoid and make passage around the splenic flexure difficult. This animation shows why. The sigmoid stretches upwards. Pulling back and then stiffening an Innerflex colonoscope holds the sigmoid straight. Letting the scope tip slide in avoiding the need for abdominal pressure or position change. It's then usually best to reduce stiffness again. It's more comfortable, the scope slides in better, and it avoids straining the stiffening mechanism. The splenic flexure is where inner flex stiffening is particularly useful. But even proximally, reaching to the hepatic flexure or the cecum, the stiffer mode can be useful. Stiffening can be achieved gradually from zero uh, until grade three. Now, by using the stiffening, we have now passed the left flexure of the colon and approaching the right flexure, the hepatic flexure of the colon, to enter the ascending colon. So now we are approaching the right flexure after passing the transverse colon, using the stiffening, maximum st stiffening of the scope. In order to demonstrate the way to use this scope, and in order to assess the benefits of these scopes, we conducted a multi-center randomized study in Europe. Six European study centers participated to this study and 1,200 patients were included in the study. The patients were randomly assigned to undergo colonoscopy with a normal scope or with a variable stiffness scope. All of the results are not completely analyzed. It is getting clear that this scope provide certain advantages to the patients and to the endoscopists. First, we found that the number of external compression on the abdomen and the number of position change were significantly reduced in the group variable stiffness scope. Secondly, the average insertion time to the second was also significantly reduced with the variable stiffness function. And finally, we did not see any complications related to the use of a variable stiffness function. That means that the inner flex scopes are as safe as the normal scopes. My own experience is that being able to optimize things for the individual bend or the individual patient is the bonus offered by inner flex colonoscopes. Being able to choose to change insertion tube stiffness during the procedure is a wonderful feeling. It also avoids having to guess beforehand which colonoscope to choose or having to change scopes and to start all over again.